All right, guys, so if you're struggling with your kickflips, under rotating or landing upside down or worst case scenario, landing primo and you taking a slam, this Yuto Horigome technique is really gonna help you get a better flick and make sure that your kickflips are rotating every time and give you the confidence that you can put your feet back down and you're gonna land your kickflip every time. This video is gonna be kind of a shortened video of the full length Patreon video where I cover all of Yuto Horigome's kickflip techniques from the crouch to the landing, everything in between. And in this video, we're just gonna be focusing on the flick. So if you get a lot of value out of this video, go check out the Patreon. That video is way more in depth than this video is gonna be. I'm gonna be posting videos like that every single week. So if you guys feel like the way that I, I explain things and break things down is helpful to you, I'd really appreciate you supporting me on Patreon. But let's get into Yuto Horigome's technique for flicking his kickflip. So the first thing that Yuto does that really allows him to get a really good flick on his kickflip is how he actually crouches and loads his weight over his front foot before he even pops the trick. So this works together with another key component or a key technique that Yuto uses and really every pro skater is using in their kickflips, which is when they go to flick, their knee goes way out in front of their nose. You watch Kater do this, Luan do it. Anybody that has a good kickflip is leading with their knee out in front of the nose. To make this as easy as possible, what Yuto does is he starts his kickflip leaning over his front leg. That way he's in a strong position and he's close to the nose so that as he pops, the board comes right up underneath him and it's easy for him to get that knee out in front and get a good kickflip flick. So one thing that might help you kind of like internalize this is with a kickflip, you want the board to come to you. You want it to come up in the air. And there's actually no way to kick something towards you. The name kickflip is a little bit confusing because you think that you have to kick it, but all that kicking does is it kicks the board away from you like a soccer ball. If you want to keep kickflips underneath you, you've got to learn how to let the flick happen with the board underneath your body and learn to pull the nose with your foot. And the way that you do that is by getting that knee out in front of your board. So this is probably the biggest like hack or best uh, tip that I could possibly give on kickflips. And there's no question if you watch Yuto Horigome on every single kickflip, he does this every time. By maintaining that posture, over that front leg, it gives you a strong position of power to be able to not only flick the board, but also because it's underneath him, he can then pull the board up into the air and get a much higher kickflip. Yuto Horigome has like almost no pop in his kickflip. Any height that he gets, not any height, but a lot of the height that he does get comes from the way that he actually flicks the board and pulls it up into the air. So, so if you want to get better at your kickflips, the number one thing I would recommend that you actually practice is learning how to bone your ollies which is to say to level out your ollies. In order to level out your ollies, you've got to pull them up into the air and you've got to get your knee out in front of the nose before you drag your foot. So if you learn how to pull your ollies up into the air and you can do that every single time, that is gonna be the biggest thing that you can do to actually fix your kickflips is if you can get that posture over your front leg and then as you jump up, maintain that posture over your front leg and lead with that knee, applying that to your ollies, applying that to your ollies and doing that again and again and again is gonna give you the best idea of how to actually kickflip without kickflipping. So just remember, don't kick your kickflips. Look at Yuto Horigome. Look how he pulls his kickflip. It's debatable that kickflip should actually be called pull flips because there's really not a lot of kicking going on. Watch Yuto, he's not kicking his board, he's pulling it with him so that way the board stays under his body. Again, you can't kick something towards you, you can only kick something away from you. So I hope that helps you guys. If this tip does help you, I've got a, a like whole video about Yuto Horigome's technique from start to finish. This is only looking at really like one or two aspects of how he does his kickflips. If you want the whole breakdown, check out my Patreon. I put a lot of time and effort into studying Yuto's kickflip so that I could break it down as simple as possible for you guys. So if you want to improve your kickflips, go check that out. The link will be in the description. Appreciate all of your guys' support. Make every day a Friday and I'll see you guys in the next video.